Today's episode is brought to you by MyBookie. For all of your betting needs this season, check out MyBookie. Use promo code YKWD and they will double your first deposit. You play, you win, you get paid. MyBookie.ag. That's not even in the copy. It's- I know. How good that? Oh, my God. Oh, you stink. <laughs> Is there an end to this, or I just come in whenever I want? Come in whenever you want. What's up, dudes? It's your boy, Louis J. Gomez, taking over with this very white power edition of the YKWD podcast. Woo! You know whites, dudes. You know whites. Where the fuck is Giannis right now? I don't know. You have us here. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you, you just have work Jan with that. The fuck are we? I got, uh, oh, at least Ian's here. That is That's true. Right. But no offense. <laughs> no offense, Rosebud, but you called me fat at the top of the show, <laughs> and it didn't feel good. I was yes anding you. Okay. Um, do you think I'm fat for real? I mean, you're looking a little thick. You're deliciously. You're like Rihanna You're deliciously thick. soft. That's a compliment. <laughs> it's a, it's a. It's your Rihanna's my number thickening. one. Celebrity. I went to it's Hawaii, your... and that was my problem. I went Rihanna to, to Hawaii, and then I went to LA, and then I fell off because I was working out every day. Mm-hmm. I was dieting. I've been dieting a couple of days now. I'm back, but mm-hmm. I went on a vacation, or it was a business trip, but it was a vacation of sorts, mm-hmm. and uh, that's the problem. So that actually hurt my feelings because I felt like I was making <laughs> progress, and then Rosebud said, an, unprompted, she was like, "You are fat." Mm-hmm. <laughs> For no reason at all. So listen, wanna... I'm going through stuff, so it was just ma- it's just to make me feel better. We have look, this. I am the special guest host of you know what, dude, uh, real ass podcast edition, um, Legion Skanks edition, White Power edition, Bobby Kelly. I don't know where he's at. Where's he at? Vegas. Vegas. Yes. Vegas. Two filming Netflix. Degenerate cool for baby. his That's own right. show. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, he had filmed a filler episode that uh, Brendan Sagalow ruined. Release. Yeah. Why won't you release it? It was just Brendan Sagalow, and it blew. It was bad. It was that bad. bad. <laughs> really? Oh, he wasn't kidding. No, dead serious. We're not releasing it. It was so bad that. We will not. Can we hear some of it right now? Oh, please, oh please. Please, 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 please. I want to hear. I yeah. think we burned it. I think no, we burned it. You didn't burn a file. No, uh, I think we burned the file. No, but it's just on a, the hard drive we're recording this. Oh, too, my God. So I want to hear Brennan bumbling through a fucking joke and then just saying something racist and being like, sorry, I don't know. Did somebody <laughs> not show up? Yeah. 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 Brandon. <laughs> 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 wow okay so uh and that's that so you guys said fuck it we will roll the dice with Louis j gomez yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. instead of releasing that's how bad it was mm-hmm. okay well brendan stinks i could have told you guys that before you guys had him on the show <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy thing um oh that's too funny look we i have, love brendan we have no show plan today i saw ian as i was coming out mm-hmm. good and good thing i saw ian because Giannis papus is not here he's mm-hmm. on his right way right now he he's on his way he's, he's parked yeah I've been going back and forth with comics. Uh, oh. on, I bet it's Becky with coffee. On Twitter. Um, About what? And it started with Giannis. It started with Yanushkas. About what? About what? I have no respect for people on Cameo. I've said this for a long time. Oh. Cameo is a garbage fucking platform. I will scream it from the mountaintops. I love Giannis. I love Chris D. I, oh, they're doing Cameo There's a now? dozen comics that I think are great comics, good people Thank that you. I consider friends, and they're on Cameo. Are you on Cameo too? Yeah, but I haven't it's responded. Uh, everything Stinks. after Bud is bullshit. <laughs> Can I tell you, Cameo hit me up. They asked me to do it. I was on it for two days, and I said, this does not align with my values, Boom. I'm done. Boom. Go you mean you got Hit no the bandana, you fucking I, whore. Guess you mean, what? You mean you I got get no requests. Requ- I get requests, and I send them he for free. I send them for free. Free requests. Free requests. He's like, free requests. <laughs> free requests. Free requests. We will not That's drop right. it off our fan bases. That's right. Come There's a line drawn right here. Buy my There's merch. cameo on that side. There's real ass dudes yeah. on this side. Oh my you know God. What? I was coming up the stairs. I was going, I should have said no to this. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the noise. I was like, Jesus Christ. Uh, Giannis, shit. you're on cameo. <laughs> yeah. No, Me both too. on cameo. Yeah. But I haven't Ugh. responded to a single cameo request mm. in the last uh, two months. Mm. How many are you getting? All of them have, uh, I get like two a week. Really? That's a lot. What? That's a lot of cameo requests. Yeah, two a week? If I was getting yeah. two a week, how I'd go on cameo. You, how much do you charge? <laughs> yeah. uh, I only I charge like 10 bucks, I think. Yeah, that what if sense. somebody's like, hey, uh, say the N-word? 
What do you do? You don't do I don't, it. I don't, I don't Lewis <laughs> tried to go me. Lewis tried to trick me in one. He did, remember you set me up <laughs> yeah, with <I> one. <laughs> he wrote something like. Uh, Bobby tricked me with one too mm-hmm. to promo him, but Lewis's was funny. What, what did you say? Again? I said you're like, uh, I was like, I'm Giannis Papas and I, I'm a faggot. Yeah, I twenty dollars destined for my dignity. Yeah, for my dignity. <laughs> 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 I think I've made five grand on there. Shut up! Really? I, be- I believe that it's a yeah. platform Damn. where you can make money, and yeah. I, I don't want to make it contentious because grand. me and Corinne Fisher are now not friends because of the cameo argument. Yeah. We're literally not friends now. It ended today. What? She, uh, she today? blocked me on Twitter. I swear to God. No. Why? Why? Doggy. Why? Doggy, I what? texted her. I was like, "Corinne, you're fucking you're cr- really you're blocking me on Twitter over this." She this blocked is- you over cameo. Because I got, I did get mad. I'll tell you the whole story. Yeah, we'll get into it. Okay, so yeah. here's what happened. You can't get, get into, into things it. with people on Twitter because it. it yeah, why never are you even well. talking to your friends? Because on people Twitter. put their own bias on it, and then it, things are misconstrued. And you, you got a Corinne talking in person. I bet you'd find common. Whenever me you- and Corinne are friends. We literally, I know, we get along weirdly well, yeah. like way better Shockingly than you would ever well. fucking yes. think. We're here's, like, a, here's a little advice to everyone in the comedy community. If you're going to start an argument with Lewis, just be prepared to exit at some point. <laughs> you got to go. Because there's going to be a point where he's going to be like, you want to just fucking fight this out? <laughs> I mean, you got to start an argument with... Ca- I always treat it with caution. Whenever I argue with Lewis, I'm like a snack. I just like... Like I'm dealing with like an actual... Cat. Like, yeah. Like, like a cat. Yeah, you, you just kind of like, day, you know... The cow, <laughs> yeah. the cow. What about maybe consider... I don't know, just changing not arguing your opinion. With my, no, I'm not going to change my opinions because my opinions are right, and that's fine. Well, um, you know, you got to have a spine, but your spine's got to have scoliosis. So listen, here's what happened. <laughs> I, yesterday on Twitter, <laughs> I say you. once every three to four months, I tweet something anti-cameo. I get inspired. I see somebody post something about their dumb cameo, and I go, you yep, would, you would fuck make, cameo. You would make so much money on cameo. I would crush on a cameo, but I would never do that to my fans because I'm not a scumbag. No, I just sell them infinite <laughs> CBD <laughs> and <laughs> create them. <laughs> Buy Kratom. Yeah. Hey man, Kratom, will, Kratom will help you kick dope, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what is the difference, I though, just between... I Blue Chew. What's the difference between <laughs> making them pay for something that you want them to pay for as opposed to make them paying for something that they want? I understand that. Okay. They want yeah. the video. Yes, yeah. I, yes, I'll tell you the point. It's because Cameo, as a company, is taking an advantage of this little thing that we have, this relationship we have with our fans, and they're coming in and they're going, oh, there's profit there. I want to middleman that relationship, and I think it's just kind of gross. I, th- in my opinion, I, I am half what busting are you a balls. You're communist? pissed you didn't come up with. Yeah, it. no, that's not true, I, <laughs> dude. I have a festival where the whole point of the festival is we hang out with the fans and we interact yeah. with them. Um, so I believe so strongly you're profiting off of that. Yeah, it, yeah, I right. believe, yeah, but they're also getting three days worth of incredible shows. It's just nonstop content. They're getting more for two hundred dollars. They're getting thousands of dollars worth of comedy shows. It's a really, really great value from them. I feel like, and you said this, you were like, well, the fans really like it. I think that, yeah, from their perspective, they're going like, yeah, I'm paying 20 bucks, 30 bucks for a message from this person that I respect. Or my, my friend, maybe it's their birthday and they get a happy birthday from them. From their perspective, it's kind of a good deal. I just feel like the company in itself is taking advantage of something that they really, it's really none of their fucking business. It's like a, it's like a company. Like they didn't build it, so they, why are they it getting sucks. it? It yeah. sucks. If you want, if you said, hey dude, I'll deliver personalized happy birthday messages for $5 and you donate to my fucking thing or donate to a charity. It would be way less gross, but the way Cameo does it specifically, it just bothers me. Regardless, we can just disagree on this. There's a lot of comics that are very respected. I think that there's are... a lot more gross things in the world than Cameo. Yeah, and I don't take <laughs> part in those things either, for the yeah. most part, yeah, you know? Right. Um, I... But uh, that's my main issue with it, ultimately. My main issue, she's getting two a week? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Do you have but a character I don't, I don't know dude, about? Well, I, don't <laughs> respond, I don't respond to them because I, whenever I do it, I feel like I'm like, I'm not... I'm not this person. Like whenever I'm like, "Hey, yeah, happy gross. birthday!" I just feel like yeah. this is so gross, Dude, and I can't. I, I'm afraid of. Doing I don't understand it what's and, so and it gross being, about. I'm afraid of it. doing. Is it any more gross than getting on stage and being like, "Hey guys, no, I'm fucking." It's way more gross because you don't. You're, there's no effort involved. You're just like walking down the street. You, well, put some effort into it. And it puts, you, it puts you in a weird position where it's Jesus like, Jesus wow, Christ, what do you guys want to go back to you. the '80s? Yeah. Well, you're you, you have a fucking lighting kit you set up for your cameos. Okay, she's just really. You have a ring light. Wow. You have a ring light. Oh, Giannis has a green screen. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. He's got a production yeah, yeah, team behind yeah, yeah, yeah. him. He comes in with a helicopter shot. What's your yeah. like? Take Let's the take video. That. Could we do that again? I didn't feel good about that one. Do it one more time. Ready? Yeah. Happy birthday. How you doing? Happy birthday to you. And all the girls up there. 
in the Bronx. Oh, let's do it again. <laughs> Let me hold that cigarette for a second. Let me take all the drag. He's in a kimono. <laughs> His wife's doing crap. You gotta go to three hours of makeup before you do your fucking. Happy birthday to the Giftopoulos family. I, feel- uh, I didn't feel it on that one. So I tweeted. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of doing cameo. And you know when you like go on an airplane and you're like, I gotta turn my phone off. Oh my god, I wonder how many messages I'll get. And you get none when you land. And you're like, oh, that's this that is sucks. sad. I've never I'm turned my I've never turned cameo. my phone to airplane mode. And I always order Wi-Fi. We Same. do so much worse things to fans than give them like videos what? that like they what? request. Watch us perform and then go, hey, will you pay twenty dollars for my dumb CD? At Broadway Comedy Club? No, but that's a thing that you've created and made. It's and a piece it's of content that, that they're buying. They're, they're not yeah. asking for it. They're not asking people for it. Ask We're for birth- people ask me for cameo shit. I don't stand outside. DMs uh, and I nobody, do it for free. Nobody stands outside except for Rich Voss with their CDs. So <laughs> they are asking for it. If somebody buys that CD, it's because they actively went to iTunes, your website, whatever it is. So I don't think that that... I understand what you're saying. Yes. Some t-shirts and I mugs. Feel, I feel icky like... like uh, you don't feel icky selling a mug? Who the I that you want me to wish you a happy birthday? Because like nobody gross. wants them from it's you right so now. <laughs> people do, motherfucker. There's not enough people One listening guy. to you up. <laughs> Look, they're like, can you get me? Uh, can you get tickets for Nikki's show? Yeah, yeah. They're like, hey, can you do a cameo where you get Nikki on your camera? I'm like, okay. Yeah. Look, I, I would. We can argue it all day long. There's a lot of like, or I love we you. can fight it out. You're a hilarious comic. You're a hilarious comic. Christy, hilarious comic. There's a lot of great comics that are on this. So I'm, I'm. I'm saying it partially in jest, but I really do feel that way. I do kind of feel like it's it's a shitty platform, regardless. Yeah. I, I feel like it puts you on top of a thing where it's it's like making you bigger than you. It's just. Wait, can I see the argument between you and Corinne that, though? That sure, happened? I'm that, sure you can. Well, I don't blocked. know how I'm this blocked. how this escalated to the so point. So I'll tell you. I'll tell I you. would never let a cameo ruin a friendship. That's <laughs> that's, I know. So that'd so be happened? funny. That'd Jesus be funny Christ. if it was solved with a cameo. People can't even. Not only can you guys not talk politics anymore, nobody can even talk about cameo. Can't even talk about. <laughs> You can't even talk about social oh, let, media platforms on, let, anymore. Let, let, pull up Rosebud's Don't even get me going on cameo. TikTok, bitch. <laughs> pull up you mentioned Rose- TikTok, I'll fight a motherfucker. Pull up Rosebud's cameo. Let's oh, see well, well, but really quick, really quick. Let me tell you what happened. So okay, I tweeted okay. out yesterday, cameo sucks, whatever it is. So then people are fucking rat scumbags. So they tag Giannis and they tag Gilbert Godfrey. They start tagging all these people that are on cameo. Um, but I'm willing to defend it. And Giannis starts, we have a little it's playful. We have fun with it, yeah. We have a, a playful back and forth. Um, and it's fine. It is what it is. Like, I get why if you're on cameo, you go like, oh, I'll defend it. Cool. So the same thing essentially happened with Corinne, um, who I will preface this by saying I love Corinne. I think she's great. I think she's funny. She's a way cooler chick than I could have ever imagined. Um, this is getting a little wacky right now. She's but a down ass bitch. <laughs> she's a down ass bitch. Yeah. So I tweet this thing about cameo. So then yeah. she tweets yesterday. Let's see. Lucia Gomez isn't a bad guy. We're too volatile of a combination. Thanks to everyone who supported our one year promotion. <laughs> 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 retweet. <funny>. Retweet. <laughs> you know what? Right now it's great. <laughs> we, uh, this, this, is a, this is a community of mentally unstable Ill- Ill- children. Yeah. Yeah. We're children. Yeah. They're on drugs all the time. When you hear how stupid this argument is, you have you, it's so much dumber than you could possibly fucking imagine, dude. So, okay. So, what the fuck? So, this is what happens. She, <laughs> she sees the cameo tweet and then she tweets, For the next month, I'm opening up my cameo again to, until my birthday, September 29th. If you donate $33, which is going to be my age, I will deliver a personal message $33? to. $33? Hold on. I will deliver you? a personal message to Louis J. Gomez and I will donate the money to this LGBTQ friendly group, um, some, some charity, um, because Louis likes to suck dick. Funny, yeah. okay. funny, Hilarious. obviously, very yeah, funny. Yeah, that's great. So I, never to be out trolled, quote <laughs> her, and then I say, cool, I don't even need Cameo. If you guys show me a screenshot that you donated $33 to Trump's 2020 campaign, <laughs> I will send a personal message to Corinne. Okay. Funny. Fucking funny. funny. Yes. Period. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somehow this devolved into me and Corinne not being friends anymore. Okay, and I will say part of it is is my fault yeah. because I got I got sensitive and I got heated. But I'll explain why, and I think you guys are going to agree with me on this. Okay, <laughs> so we go into this back and forth, and we're being playful for about twelve hours. I'm talking about like I wake up at seven o'clock in the morning; it is still going on, and we're just kind of taking little digs at each other. Mm-hmm. And she's taking little shots; I'm taking little shots. At one point, she tweets out <laughs> just she just tweets out dot Louis J Gomez is trying to convince his fan his fan base to donate to Trump and then a joke with the um Trump do- throwing the you know toilet paper to Puerto Ricans right um and then i was like 
I was like, all right, that's out of context. It's not attached to anything we're even saying. It was like, right, she's just saying right, to right. this very that rabid fan base right. that doesn't already like me that I'm donating to. And I'm going, like, all right. And then I kind of play with it and I, I respond to it. And You I, dumb bitch. I was like, listen, <laughs> cunt, I'm going to fucking rape your cousins. <laughs> you know, light back and forth, friendly banter. <laughs> you know, just little dicks. <laughs> I, I want to see what. I, pull, pull up just the actual. Just little tiny dicks. I'm yeah, going to yeah, rape yeah, your yeah. mom. You know the yeah. kind of stuff I'm known for. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Uh, crazy. just a, a quip. Yeah. Pull up my tweets. Yeah. Because Skanks I don't assemble. <laughs> Here's a little stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Skanks assemble. Got this. Yeah. <laughs> Pull up my because I don't think I was being that crazy. I really don't. You got to go to my. Uh... Your pinned tweet, by the way, has got to be the craziest shit I've ever seen. What's my pinned tweet? If I didn't know you and I went to your... What's my pinned tweet? About your dad it's getting like stabbed. about your dad getting stabbed. Oh, yeah. I never got to tell him I love him for his stabbed to death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, like, they pulled up your Twitter earlier. I was like, Jesus Christ. But you know what? This always happens when you get into like big fights and then you, I just... I'll see the next, like a month later, you're going on tour with that person. Like, yeah, me and Metzger are going on tour Yeah, together. I saw a video <laughs> yeah. where yeah. you and Metzger were like, come on, let's go! And then I'm like, <laughs> they're going we'll to they're gonna do cameos for the tour. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Cameo. It's, oh yes. my God, that's so funny. So she deleted the tweet because, uh, and there was another one, then she tweeted afterwards, I guess that my, there was an article about Milo that he needed money, that he's broke. So she Jesus goes, Christ. She goes, hey, Louis J. Gomez, you want to give Milo a job at Gas Digital? And I'm going like, I saw a text, I was like, Corinne, you're, you know, you're just painting me as like a Trump supporter. These people don't know the whole conversation we had. Right, they don't know that right, we're friends. Right. I was like, you're saying to a very specific audience that is very like passionate about this stuff that I'm this guy. When you know that, you know me on a personal level. She knows that I'm not that guy. She knows I don't give a fuck about politics at all in any sense. I'm just being funny. Um, and then it became this just pissing contest where neither of us would let the point go. And through she was like, you know what? Through text or Twitter? Through text. Oh, and she's okay. like, we're just not going to be friends anymore. That's it. I'm blocking you on Twitter. And I was like, all right, well, I guess we're not fucking friends anymore. Am I that crazy, though? Call and her up. Call, call her, her up. up. Call, call her up. up. No, I'm not calling her. <laughs> I'm like, I have a podcast with Corinne. I, I know maybe that's do. not the yeah, best yeah, yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. It's going to ruin my cameo. I'm not even shitting on Corinne. It, this literally, it ended up being ball busting that just got away from us. Mm -hmm. And it turned in, but in my mind, I'm going like, Corinne, since Skankfest, or since we become friends, like I, I, I brought you into Skankfest. I tell my right, fans, right. and I, I'm not lying. I, I tell my fans that you're funny and you're awesome, and they've embraced you. She even tweeted, she was like, "I love your fan base," um, because she's she knows firsthand because she goes to Skankfest and she sees the type of fans that we have that they're right. really passionate and they're legitimately good people. Um, and I was like, then you could reciprocate, and we could have a ball bussy thing. We can, well, look, we're friends, but now you're just out of context tweeting that I'm a Trump supporter and that I'm supporting Milo. Right. And at the end of the day, I'm going like, I, I don't really give a shit. People think that about me anyway, but it kind of sucks when it comes from somebody that I think is supposed to be a friend. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, it happens, though. Whenever you're, like, whenever you're ball-busting with other comics, like, sometimes you'll say something, and then they'll say something back, and you'll be like, oh, that one hurt. That, you yeah. know what I mean? And then you just, but when it's on Twitter, you can't just, like, exit. You can't true, You can't yeah. just be like, hey, that one, that and one, that no one stuck. And there's <laughs> no nuance. There's no nuance. Well, that's the true. point. I was An like, occasional we, one will hit you. Yeah, it'll, get through like, the, <gasps> it'll get through the <gasps> comic bulletproof vest. Like, oh, and like, and also, also <laughs> you and Corinne know you're joking. Her dumb fans and your fans don't know that it's, like, a No, but my fans do know I'm joking. They get it. None of my fans support. That's what she started tweeting as well. She was like, yeah, your fans were already donating to Trump anyway. And I was like, no, they're not. Don't mm -hmm. paint our right, fucking right. fan base as this right wing. They don't give a fuck about right. politics. If you've, and you guys, have, literally everyone here has been to Skankfest. You know what the fuck our fan base is. Yeah, those guys can't vote. They literally can't <laughs> read. They couldn't read the candidates' names yeah. to vote yeah. for the right one. They would have yeah. difficulty drawing yeah. the X in the box. They were box. just trying to eat the paper. <laughs> they, just, they just put the Skanks logo yeah. on yeah. Yeah. Yeah, over yeah. the whole thing. I, yeah. I think you should actually get a tax deduction for giving those kids something to do. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping them off the streets and out of schools. <laughs> the new dare program. You should get a fucking yeah. check from the government. Yeah. And look, it's... it's no, you know, they're good fans, man. Good. They're, yeah. yeah. They're Skankfest was one... That is, I think, the most... I, I, I was blown away by Skankfest this year. Yeah. I, it, it's just like exponentially grown every yeah. year. It was like wild to yeah, see. Yeah, and they're so supportive. And it's like, Great. and to everybody, to, to fucking female comics, to gay comics, people of color. They, it's an, If you go to Skankfest, it looks like a fucking 90%. It looks yeah. like a heavy metal audience. There's yeah. white guys. Like, mm -hmm. yes. And, and, can I and say I guess something? The, the optics of that to, you know, right. this sort of SJW culture, we go like, wow, look at this fucking. Yeah. But there's there's no, no it's, it's just thinking. irresponsible to call everyone a Trump supporter that. Just 
is white or is or people who aren't political are now Trump supporters. Can it's I, sort of crazy. Can I also say something about the the skanks fans? Can you not say like a retard? And, sorry, well, <laughs> you know, I talk with my hands. I'm gay. So um, <laughs> those, ish, you're those gay -ish. fans and everything sometimes on Twitter or like Instagram or whatever they'll say something out of line because in their head they're, they're like, busting balls. Oh, I'm busting balls, but it'll be like a really like awful thing that they yeah. say and I'll DM them and go, hey man, you can joke about whatever, but this is a thing. That's really I don't appreciate really gay. I, I hope you, you really DM appreciate them to, and respect to stop that. Stop them and picking on what? you. Guess what? Hold on, pause. No, it. no, 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 no. It's no. not picking on motherfucker. It's something I don't like being brought up. Here's the thing. Which thing is it? Not, thing about my dad. But they don't have your dad. Dead dad? Yeah. What happened? You know like being brought up? I bring it up almost every time I see you. You and I are different. But that's different because here's the thing your fans they don't my dad's also they don't know how to be funny. Like you know how to be funny. So fa when fans try to come at you for shit that's really personal, they don't actually have the skill set to be a funny person. Right. They're and just what, trying and to I'm be, saying and is, it comes off like, oh, well, what the fuck? You well, know what I mean? it depends. And, and what I'm saying is when I approach them, they go, they go they're, they're so cool that they go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. You're totally right. I yeah. was just trying to have fun. I'll delete it, whatever. And I'm like, wow, that's I, fucking that, really I, cool. I, by the way, I'm fucking that with you. You can have a conversation that happens, like that with those people. That happens sometimes with me too because I'll post something you know, about my kid or my mom or whatever it is. On Instagram, and I have family members who like they're not in exactly, this world. Exactly, man. Yeah. So my cousins, I have like a bunch of fucking cousins who like I'll post something about my niece, and somebody will be like, you know, just some fucking awful joke. And I know they're joking. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they listen to Legion of Skanks. They're trying to be funny. I know I've they're got not. Her assholes big. Yeah. I'm like what? And then I'll have to literally <laughs> say to them, I'll 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 have to respond with, she's three. Right. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Right. And then they delete it and they, go, they DM me yes. and they go, I'm so sorry, dude. I was just trying to be funny. They truly don't know. And to wow. be honest with you, sometimes the fans. Wow. Looks like we do the same thing. They you DM fat me, though. Bitch. I don't I don't DM them like a fucking fatherless dead faggot. That's what I don't do. Don't I would end never do another that. another friendship. You lost a friendship today. Yeah, You're I know. Just what are you talking into? A oh, mirror? Let, let, them have, <laughs> let them have a fucking dead dad fight. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. dude, my dead dad will fuck up your dead dad. <laughs> my dead dad was strong as fuck. My dead dad was literally killed in a knife fight. <laughs> yeah, that's how bad he is. Your dad was sucking your dick on train fight. tracks. Take it easy. <laughs> you know what, guys? That's guys. what the guy said. Take it easy. Too much teeth. <laughs> <laughs> guys, uh, <laughs> how do you go. break the tension on this one? My dad's about to die. <laughs> Here's the thing. You <laughs> yeah, your dad doesn't even know you exist. He's, so no, that's perfect. my mom. Oh, but my dad, my dad's my dad died. wasn't there for me emotionally. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But you have a yacht. <laughs> so I do get to go on his boat. I would take a boat over emotional support. No, I'm kidding. I was I knew it was better than both of your situations, <laughs> so that's why I said it. How <laughs> how much does your family not even get what you do? Do they just They don't understand it at all. I, it's so far it's, uh, I can I, imagine it's, it's like It's such a, a huge step down. You're like homeless and drug addicted. It's so, well, 100% that's, that's I was thinking though. that last night cuz I went to fucking Monday Night Raw and I was like, "Oh, Wow, uh, this is, I, I don't know why I feel like I belong here. And then I was like, oh, it's because I've i have left my roots behind. Like, yeah. I, I don't even know. Like, I, I when I when I opened for Amy on tour, she, like, sent us menus. And I forgot that when you order from a rich restaurant, they everything is, like, a la carte. Yeah. So I ordered steak. And I was like, oh, it'll come with mashed potatoes and fucking yeah. string beans. And it, it all just came. I just got no a sides. steak. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I've forgotten everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's so funny because it's it's a different world. Because I grew up so shitty and poor, the fact that I'm doing anything that can be considered at all successful, it's like my family is like, holy shit! Like it's so so impressive. But it's like when you're from like a family that has money and success and like just real values, this is like a huge huge step down. Yeah, it's a it's a huge step down. And now they're you're like a reverse Aladdin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've like made yourself into a riffraff street. They rally. actually have I like know. conversations amongst themselves on like holidays. Yeah. To not say things that are they're like uh, around her, don't say she's kind of. They think you're mentally like you're. She's all, a loose cannon. Yeah, just kind of like stay away from. Just be ease careful. Into it. Yeah. yeah. I'm Which, surprised I'm still in the family. Like I'll get uh, I'll get emails from my grandmother, and I'm like, am I still supposed to be on this list like of people that she emails to pray for some sick person? Like you know what I mean? Like, like I don't I don't know I I don't even relate anymore and I and my dad and I don't talk yeah so we're not we're not speaking right now because he he found my Twitter and now we're not speaking why yeah. what, what 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 upset him what was the too thing? many cameos I I miss <laughs> I, I like, <laughs> you have no respect for yourself or your family he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he saw a picture of her in Seton yeah. that was the <laughs> final <laughs> straw yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's where we draw the line no, I there. slept through my sister's graduation and uh, and then I started tweeting out my family's responses to me sleeping through 
through it. Mm. Like all the texts that I was getting oh, were you sell out. They were just like they were just like my mom was like, "You'll be missed," which is like what you say about an acquaintance that died. Like yeah. it was just the responses were too funny to not share. And then he responded to me and was like, "Uh." He was like, I can't, I can't, I should find the text. It was so mean. So he was he like, was I like, can't believe you shared. He's like, tweet this, you bitch. No. Oh like, my yeah. God. And I was like, oh my God. Did you tweet uh, it? No. If you were uh, funny, you would have fucking tweeted exactly I know, that. I know. I know. And I, I, but I was, but I didn't tweet, tweet it because this, of my you mom. you bitch? Were you arguing with Lewis? I know. <laughs> I was like, and my but dad and I, cool. I know. We're like the same person. I'm like, yeah. he doesn't realize that he's the reason why I'm funny. Right. You know what I mean? And that I, I respect him for that. But like I, I don't know. Is, is there like X, Y, and Z that you would have to do or achieve that they would be like, we had you have our blessing? No, it's too late for that at this yeah, point. I yeah, think, <laughs> I think Are you I've out of the been will? on TV. So yeah. are you out of the will? I honestly feel like I am. Like my sisters all called me that day and they were like, just so you know, uh, we'll we'll include you in the will. <laughs> They were like, we'll give it you It was half. that bad, though. They, it, you know why? Because this is what happens. And, and you got to look at it from their perspective. So this, this happened to somebody else recently. They just want what's they best They tweeted out something. Understand. Well, they, yeah. you, they, somebody tweeted out something that, like, their family member said or their friend said. And it's like... From there, they don't live in a world where they're so exposed, yeah. and it's like that's mortifying for some people. Like yeah. a personal text being like shared, or yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. from their perspective, like they're like, "Oh my god, dude, my trust has been completely." And in our mind, we're going like, "Yeah, dude, I screenshot my friends' dumb things all the time, and they do yeah. the same thing to me, and it's funny." Right. But they don't. They, they didn't sign up for it. Right. So you have to. You almost have and to I consider their that. perspective, where it's like you know they don't. You know, it, it's a choice to be this exposed. Yeah, I'm like, I don't have to use them for a bit. Like, I can, yeah. I, when they. There's when anything. We, There's a million things you when can they, use. When they responded and they were like, we're pissed at you. I was just like, oh, okay. So I just deleted it. And I was like, I don't mm. care. You know, like I can come up with shit myself. I don't need to like name. And I didn't put their names in it or anything, but I was just like, all right. I, I'm not this committed to this yeah, that I have right. to. Did you delete the tweets? Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm, you I'm should like. just reach I'm, out to your dad though. No, I'm not reaching out to him. There's it. no fucking way. If he dies tomorrow, you'll regret it. Mm, probably. Yeah. 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 My mom was a piece of shit who never gave me anything, and I regret not fixing things with her before she But died. that's because when somebody dies, we want to rewrite the narrative and be like, oh, well, it was my fault and blah, blah, blah. No, my like, mom was a fucking heroin addict hooker piece of shit. Yeah. None of it was my fault, okay? She deserved everything she got coming. So then why but, do you feel guilty? Because I told her that. If you, never got, better, apologized. If you got better grades, she probably wouldn't have. <laughs> See, I didn't, but I didn't tell my dad any of this. I didn't tell my dad. <laughs> that was the last thing I said to her before she died. You know? But I didn't tell my dad any of that. Yeah. He just came at me like that. So I'm like, now I'm just waiting for him to apologize. Because mm. I want to talk to him, but, I, but I'm not going to mm. make myself. It's like a real Corinne and Lewis. You know theory. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just tweeted, you know, RIP. I'm, I'm texting Corinne. I'm sorry right now. Oh, that's so I'm just sweet. doing it. I'm sorry. Go for it. I'm Look sorry. Look at you. Lewis this is growing is dumb. in weight. This is dumb. Your great hope we can Still, one more sentence. Be friends. We are both you out of our minds. Bitch. Don't, <laughs> don't do that. You fucking con. <laughs> the podcast sucks. Podcast wars. Hey, that's my podcast. No, whatever. Whichever one. <laughs> 2019 is a wild era. It's it crazy. Really is. I saw that it video. Is a wild west. Yeah, I saw dude. that video of you and Colonel was fine. I was going like, we are now at a point where. A real fight is, it, there's an audience for it. There oh, was yeah. like an audience yeah. watching a real fight. Well, we also live our lives so exposed that it's like, yeah, dude, if I'm ever going to hash something out, it should never be on a podcast. Yeah. No. Or just right. you and Corinne's fight. That's a public fight. Yeah. It's like, hey. It wasn't a fight until the very end. Right. But people the are watching end. it yeah. like it's entertainment. Well, that's yeah. the other thing. That's the other point I made. They're Corinne, watching it like, like it's wrestling. Corinne, I was like, they don't know that we're friends, a lot of these people. They think we're going back and forth. Because I'm watching some of my fans say shitty things around. I'm going like, well, I'm not actually trying to elicit like... Hate People you. saying mean yeah, shit. Yeah, but you to this know shit. what the fuck is gonna happen. I know, but at, at what point am I supposed don't, to back don't, down? Don't, don't so play I thought, an idiot. Corinne co co contact calls me out specifically, tags me, calls me gay, says I suck dick, and she's opening her cameo. So am I not supposed to respond to that? She's trolling me. You, well, first of all, you should tell her that's fucking homophobic and what she's doing. Super homophobic. It, she's using it as a pejorative gay. It's very true. <laughs> first of all, that's not right. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean that. Uh, I mean that. <laughs> Right? Uh, right? Right? Do I, I can't mean look that? at you. You're, you're not fully gay, so you're a gay ish. Yeah. yeah. So you're are you. Ask. Yeah, I am gay ish. Yeah. I think. Is that a pejorative? Um, it sounded like a pejorative. It's a celebratory. What does pejorative I, mean? I, I don't know. Pejorative, pejorative means <laughs> used as an insult. Pejor yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Does your family know you don't know pejorative? Wow. I should use it when I. 
when my dad reaches out. Yeah, you should be like, look. Are you calling me a bitch it's a pejoratively? Word <laughs> is that a it's pejorative a, It's bitch? a word that's an insult, not an insult in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. You fucking pejorative. <laughs> it's describing what would the insult is. Yeah, like the word Jew. The word Jew can be used as a pejorative when yes. you, you're talking to someone who's Jewy. Wait, who's tagging her on YKWD clips? Now she's mad at me because I'm talking about it on YKWD. Oh, she, uh, she's doing a special uh, story. Oh. Oh, okay. So oh she's boy. watching this live? Somehow? No, she did a fucking story. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Now I'm in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah, but the, with the, 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 the takeaway is just that we're talking, a, you just, were talking about how good she is. I know. It's yeah. infuriating. Just fucking tell her uh, to get a boyfriend and you'll fight that guy. I'm sick of it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Please. Do you have like a brother? I can't Listen. Be up. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I know, I know Corinne. I know Corinne very well. You gotta just back off. No. You gotta back off. Never. You yes. Go. You think you, you tell off. Lewis to back off? You gotta oh back my off. God. That's that's gonna make that it. would be if you really want to apologize. You gotta back off. Yep. I did apologize. No, I'm saying the real apology would be you shutting the fuck up. No. That would be an no. apology. No. That's not the way life works. You don't get somebody to bully you. That is the way life no. works. You no. be an adult. No. Yes. No. No. <laughs> no. So no. I will not be bullied and then go cool. <laughs> I guess I'm the asshole. <laughs> Have some self awareness <laughs> and acceptance. You weren't bullied. Give me the the righteous bandana. <laughs> no, the bomb bandana. It is the righteous, it's the right bomb way bandana. bandana. <laughs> <laughs> I wear it with pride. Fucking sick and that of it. word is not a you pejorative. Gotta, you you got to do a story where you got to do a story where Lewis apologizes to, to Corinne. All right. Can we do story. a new story, please? Yeah. And tag her this time. Did you tag her? Did you tag her? You fucking bitch. Yeah. Wow. Well, Lewis is fucking ready to go on everybody. Whose side are you on? I'm on every man's side. She couldn't be more neutral in this, Lewis. She yeah, hasn't said anything. I hate Fuck her. You, You're Lewis. yelling. You're, you love me. You okay, want love some me. too? Are we, are we doing a story now? Go. Are we doing a story? Go. Okay, I would like to formally apologize to Corinne Fisher. And I hope she watches the entire episode where I said nothing but fucking good things about you, Corinne. Lewis, nothing but good Lewis, things. Take a step back. Take a step back. Jesus Christ. In through, your nose, In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Just say good. Trump 2020 at the end good. of it. Good. Good. You just plug cameo. Okay. Now, now, Lewis, what plug. kind of meeting is this? What kind of power do we have? What are you talking about? I was trying to make you do white power, but I you know, uh, <laughs> right, well. you got to plug cameo at the I'm end sick of it. Of if it. you really meant it, I'm you'd plug sick. cameo. You would do a cameo apology if you were real. You know dude. what? Fine. Yeah. If you guys pay yep. me thirty-three dollars, yep. I will apologize to anybody you want. Yeah, on cameo. Wait, I got a good idea. Why don't you? Why don't you pay for a cameo request from her? That's your to you. apology. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, well, wow. Imitating that's, you that's like apologize. A, a total opposite. That imitating is you. That's fucking that's brilliant. Yeah. Imitating no. you apologize. No, don't, no, don't get it twisted. No, no. I don't want to solve this problem. Go to our cameo. <laughs> I am highly wait, wait, entertained wait. by it. Giannis, what, yeah. what, what, go to our cameo right now. What is it? What are you suggesting? Ian, shut up. Yeah. Listen, we're going to our cameo right now, and I'm <laughs> making her apologize to me yes. for $33. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. That's what I had in mind. Yes. Oh, my God. Wow. That's pretty good. The rattlesnake is taking its fire. Final form is a troll. I'm dead ass. <laughs> Here. Here. <laughs> oh, my Jesus God. Jesus Christ. Yeah. See? Oh, uh, shit. Incredible. Uh, All right. This is the Well, I guess this is the end of my podcast. <laughs> no, no she go. knows you're on her side. Yeah. yeah. Brother, but all you got to do is apologize to your dad and you're fine. God damn it. I'll never do that. <laughs> all right. I'll never girl, do it. All right, I would girl, rather. Lewis. I would rather. No way. I'm definitely. I'm different. Than you it's blue nice. blood, rattlesnake. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What did you say? My no, obviously, p don't pull my phone number. Yeah, on the Mike, fucking Mike, screen. Mike, 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 you know, well, use that fucking head, dude. Well, that's just why do it. He's he's, <laughs> he's trying to fix it. He's saying, let's not do that. That's do you why care? I brought up. Hold on, oh, Zach, don't just don't. Show he doesn't up. need to be yelled yeah. at. Hold on, time out. Everyone in the room can see my phone number. I don't give a shit about you guys seeing my number. I meant your card number. Your card. Oh my, number. yeah. Are you guys gonna steal my credit card? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. she's been disowned by her family. She might. <laughs> she needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> or she'll I just need do the thirty three dollars on your credit card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still Lewis's card. Uh, my name, go ahead, Lewis J. Gomez. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be funny if we saw Lewis's real name? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Lewis J. Gomez. You'd get a fraud alert immediately if it wasn't like weed or CBD oil you were buying. <laughs> like this isn't Lewis. So uh, <laughs> my instructions are current. Um, so oh, and I need to use some cheering up. 
So yeah, right, see. right. Please say, "Hey, bitch!" I thought you were going to start, "Hey, bitch!" No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> please say it in quotes, <laughs> Lewis. I am no, very. No, no. Hey, I'm Corinne Fisher. Hey, I'm yes, Corinne right. Fisher. Hey, I'm Corinne Fisher. Of the guys we got it. What is it? Of, of, the, the, of, 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 of the formerly popular podcast, Guys We <laughs> Fucked. Yeah, that's a goodie. <laughs> and and the beating the horse into the dead ground to less lonely girls. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the way less known to yeah, less yeah, lonely yeah. girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then put in parentheses, lightning doesn't strike twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Okay, I don't know why you guys are trying to hurt me. <laughs> lightning, fuck. lightning, not lightning. My dad already left me. Come on, YKWD and their podcast partner will. Lightning. lightning. There's an E. There's an right? E. Holy shit! Yeah, you fucking. Wait, is this Zach typing? Well, it's not you in the. Yeah, we're numbers. used to this. Not, all right, lightning doesn't. <laughs> this is infuriating. Zach cannot. You're spelling spell. lightning wrong. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay. Yeah. Um, lightning doesn't strike twice. Um, <laughs> it's hey. only lightning wrong, and it's spelled correctly. Hey, I'm Corinne Fisher the, of the formerly popular podcast Guys We Fucked, this and the way hilarious. less known to less lonely girls. <laughs> lightning doesn't strike twice in parentheses. I would just like I would just like to formally apologize <laughs> to the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. To formally apologize to the uh, formally. Oh my God! The, really? Formally? Yeah, read it from here. That's why. I would it's like to no. formally apologize to the formerly in shape Louis J. Gomez. No, we're not we're not hurting me here. I'd yeah. like to formally apologize to the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. <laughs> for my insubordination <laughs> shown on Twitter. Or too, too many words. Too many. Oh. 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 So we reached the max. Just leave it Formally, in subordination. Just, formally apologize for the Puerto Rican rattlesnake. Trump 2020. Done. Trump 2020. That's it. Yeah. After rattlesnake, Trump 2020. Or build that wall will work as well. Trump <laughs> 2020. Interchangeable. We'll yeah. both work. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's... Now, do you have my email address? You, you figure it out. I can't. I mean. <laughs> Oh, Give my email address. My yeah. Giannis, you're fucked. This is so funny. You, Giannis has a black heart. Yeah, Corinne is funny. Corinne will think this is funny. If Corinne doesn't think this is funny, I don't want to be your friend. Yeah. I swear to God. If she doesn't open this up and laugh her fucking tits off and go, this is fucking hilarious. I there. That's it. We don't need to be friends in fucking life. This is She's the funniest thing it. ever. <laughs> She's going to love it. This is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> She's going to love it. She's going to love it. <laughs> If she doesn't do it, you should complain to Cameo. I'm going to speci- I'm going to I'm going to report her account on yeah, Cameo. I paid oh my, my $33. <laughs> oh my Holy god. Shit. Do they get their money back if you don't do yes. it? Yes. Louis yeah. James. Yeah. Giannis denied Louis my money. James yeah. gone <laughs> Don't fucking read my fucking email address, you stupid fucking dumb idiot. You don't have it on your website? No, I don't have my personal email address on my website. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Let's do a read. I people were doing uh they were sent they were signing me up for uh like coming to terms with having AIDS <laughs> mailing lists and like coming out to your family and like I, I there was a time where one guy would sign me up for like three or four mailing lists a day. And it wasn't it's not it's only seven seconds of work to click unsubscribe four times, but it bothers you. About the thirtieth day you're like, Oh, I fucking hate unsubscribing from email lists. <laughs> this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, real quick. Let's take a quick moment and hear from one of our incredible sponsors here on the YKWD podcast, which is mybookie.ag. That's right, motherfuckers. Mybookie.ag, the best place to go and gamble. You want to spend some cash this uh, football season? This is the website to do it at. If you found $100 on the street, wouldn't you pick it up? Would you pick that up? Giannis, you see $100 on the street. Would you pick it up or you keep on walking? Hell yeah, I'd pick it up. Goddamn right you would. You take that money. Why? So why do you keep picking winners and not betting on them? How often are you going, dude, that guy's going to win that fucking MMA fight. That team's going to win. If I would have bet my entire life's fortune, I would have fucking made a lot of money. Right. Well, that's what mybookie.ag will let you do. This is where I go. It's fast. It's easy. And they pay you when you win. Let's face it. When you're betting... Let's face it, where you're betting is just as important as who you're betting on, okay? Uh, MyBookie.ag, super easy to use interface. The website's really fun. Um, they, they're they trusted by thousands and thousands of gamblers. So right now, if you join MyBookie.ag, they're going to double your first deposit. Just make sure you use promo code YKWD to activate the offer. That is YKWD for you know what, dude. And go to MyBookie.ag right now. You play, you win, you get paid. 
Woo! Dude, God, I'm good. God, I'm good at ad reads. Great. great. Is job. Karen texting you right now? No. Don't lie. No, we're. She said we're not friends anymore. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't say that. <laughs> did, did you book it? I just need your zip code, but write it down here. Um, well, I can give him my zip code. One zero two six. Find me, bitches. I shouldn't have given him my zip code. Can we bleep <laughs> that out? Zach. I mean, this is funny. This is truly a funny thing. This is amazing. Yeah. When, yeah. When's it going to go through? Your request is, is it booked. immediately? Yes. Screenshot that. Oh, wow. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Screenshot that and email to That's great. She just got a notification. Oh, man. Oh, it's gonna, I yeah. think she, her literally her head's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to fuck. <laughs> is it going to go right through? Yeah. Probably. Is <laughs> oh, you, she you got know, a notification. Yeah. yeah. You get a notification uh, immediately. Oh, oh my shit. God. Yeah. You get oh, an email. My God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh boy! This I is hope she freaks out right now. <laughs> too funny. She's obviously th- thinks it's funny because that that tweet she sent was funny. I know, yeah. but I don't. She's, yeah. she's, she's texting me right funny. now. Well, they, she's not happy with me. The humor <laughs> calibrator is a little bit off in terms of like labeling you and your fans as like Trump supporters. Yeah, I just I, I but the humor's there. It's just a little off from the center of funny. I just don't. It's it's fine. I just feel like there are so many Trump supporters. This whole thing of like using Trump supporter as a pejorative. <laughs> Word of the day. Word of the day is like, ding, ding, ding. I can't believe people are still doing that. Yeah. It's like, do you understand how much that's going to backfire again? Mm. Yeah. It's like half the country is Trump supporters. They're like, a lot of, most of them are just good, normal people. Yeah, you're you know? right. Yeah, they don't want to be told what to do or what to think. Yeah, I mean, you know. It's and you're like, also, people I mean, create... New Hampshire's motto is live free or die. Yeah. You create. Trump supporters. They're creating more alt right. They're creating more young white guys who are supporting that side because you these guys don't give a fuck. You can't be that. These yeah. guys don't give a fuck. They're like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not voting. It's not only white I mean, this whole the way the media yeah. frames it, it's like the majority of white women voted for him. Forty something percent of Hispanics voted for him. Yeah. Like Dude, immigrants. He's the most popular a lot Republican of legal president. Immigrants love Trump. I mean, he's the most popular Republican president among I was blacks. in Texas and it's talking crazy. to some, some Mexican yeah. cats yeah. down in Texas, and I was like, Oh, you guys all must hate Trump. And they were like, No, I love Trump. I was like, Wait, what? Dude, I thought like all Mexicans would hate him. And I couldn't old, even wrap my head around old immigrant parents love because Trump. Because we just hear so much of like this New York liberal attitude. I didn't even get into the conversation. I don't even know why they love him. I was like, that's fucking feel crazy. Like I, I don't feel like I even hear that much of the liberal attitude in the comedy world. But really? What? Whoa. Yeah, I mean, really? I, I, what? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I hear. Uh, it's, it's a, have you it, been to Sarah Silverman's Instagram lately? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hear. I hear. Is it like because you don't smell something because you smell it so often and you just are used to it at this point? Maybe. Like, yeah, like I probably, maybe, yeah. but I check in with Pat Oswalt like once a couple, in a while. There's a couple of comics that are really crazy about it, you know. But then there's the ones that I know are usually like in the middle. Like they're like both sides are wrong. So, yeah, like all our friends, but like people are I don't insane know. I like, about. I feel like there's two extremes, and then there's a there's a lot more people who are somewhere in the middle, and they're just like having to choose. Yes, I think mm. in in life, but I don't think in the entertainment industry. I think specifically comics who are encouraged to have a perspective and an attitude. And honestly, when comics have nothing going on, the only thing they have going on is sort of that side they're choosing now, and that's what they're getting their likes on. That's what they're getting their retweets on. It's like they sort of pick a political yes. side, and this has created. Yeah. An identity. Show. It's the new yeah. goth. Yeah. It's the new fucking yeah. goth kid is picking one of those identities. That's what and I said about trans yeah. and non-binary. Yeah, Ian. Wait, what? What? Uh, no. what? Oh, when we were talking last night. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I can think off my, off my head right now. I can think of probably like eight comedians who are Trump supporters that, but pretend not to be. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's. I mean, it's oh, like yeah. It's like they're everywhere. I have a friend who stays in a Trump hotel every time he comes to New York. Yeah, Shut and I know up. who you're exactly talking about. Exactly who it is because we've got Shut yeah. up. because he supports Trump so much, but he would never, never ever, never. ever say you it. Can't say it. I mean, and the I know. Like, I'm thinking about like eight like successful. Yeah, right. Like you know, is it tax reasons? No, they just because of the culture. They just oh. can't yeah, say. You it. Don't, yeah, you can't say. Dude, it. Yeah, the other you can't night, say the other it, night, a comic on stage asks in the crowd like, "Who here supports Trump?" And this black family from Atlanta was like, "Woo!" And the, in re, in what the fuck? What oh, just went out? What just happened? Something come out. I didn't kick anything out. My Nobody legs haven't out. moved. Literally my Did all the mics cut out? Oh, it's oh, right yeah. there. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Dude, when this black family said they supported Trump, you just saw in real time 
the comics head explode. Yeah. Of like, ha- but like, what? You've been conditioned to yeah, I love be when that Democrat. I love when that happens. Mental eugenics. Wait, was I on that show with you? I feel like you turned to me and you were like, I, I remember being on a show with you where you you like turned to me and you were like, what the? F- did you see? No, this that was this is a Caroline's the other night. Oh, okay. No, maybe you were telling me. Dude, about Trump it would not have won without women. He wouldn't have won without white women. Mm. He wouldn't have won. He wouldn't have won without Hispanics. Yeah. He's like he just wouldn't have won. So it's like this. The way it's framed is like so hilariously false. You're going like you're living in a fantasy land, yeah. mm-hmm. and you continue to. In what know? way is it framed? You're saying it's framed as like these angry white guys in the Rust Belt. Mm-hmm. And like they all banded together and were like, you know what? Fuck Racism won. Fuck well, gay people. Also, right. it's well, not it's what the narrative is that Trump is a racist president yeah. who's trying to, you know, kill just, people. Yeah, who's trying to it, kill brown people and gay people. It's lives. just, it, it's the whole narrative is just silly. I, I stay out of it. I don't, I don't, I think literally anybody who's the president of the United States. I think inherently you have to be a bad person to get there, to even to navigate to navigate the world to get to where you are the person and you play that political game where you're the fucking president. I think you have to. I feel the same way about Gas Digital. Yeah, to become the CEO of Gas Digital, you have to hurt people. (laughs) (laughs) You don't get anything in life for free if you rise up at the top, baby. But I mean, anybody, whether it was Hillary or Trump or whoever, these are people that will sell the lives of of people in uh, thousands of people in countries. A hundred percent for nothing. Thing. I mean, we're, we're but it's the same it, even in enter, in the entertainment industry. Like it's like to get there, you gotta be a fucking you gotta have like cold lizard yeah. blood. It's kind yeah, of to it's a certain degree. True. But the yeah. difference is there's there's not much more at stake when you're in the entertainment industry. This is not people's lives. Yeah, that are people's at stake. aren't. It's, what, yeah. What's at stake is your own personal security, your family's personal security. So it's a little different. The, yeah, I don't mind people different. being a narcissist and trying to become the absolute best comedian possible, but to become the president and, and sign death warrants for entire countries. Um, you have to be pretty fucked up and disconnected from humanity. So the idea that any of these people are going to be good for the country, I go, yeah, they're fucking evil. I'm going to go and do whatever the fuck I can do in my life to be as, absolutely as successful as possible, give my kid everything that he needs to give, regardless of whoever's in fucking power. Because it doesn't matter. Whoever's there isn't going to affect what I do. Rega- it, 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 it truly, I really, truly believe that to, on the deepest, deepest level. I have my own path, and that's not one of the variables that are going to affect it. And I think everyone should kind of feel that way because the reality is nobody really fucking knows what's going on behind the I don't scenes. Know what, I don't know why I feel this way, and I don't know how it would, how it would pan out, but I do feel like eventually we're just going to find out that we don't need a fucking president. Like, I don't know how it's going to Oh, like the host out. at the Oscars? Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly like that. Like that. It would just be better with like because I do. I agree. Like I think that we're. It doesn't seem to make that much of a fucking dent in yeah. people's lives. No, uh, it well, it, with the exception of the fact that like he's making these fucking horrible decisions. He's putting like kids in cages, and he's a fucking monster. And I and, and he was going to meet with the Taliban, t- the Taliban to have like negotiations. I'm sure the week he says it Taliban. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I it's a, a cute stroke. way of saying that. Yeah, <laughs> the Taliban. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the Taliban. Well, that's why we have the president. So there's a face to put on all those things. Yeah, so but people can't handle there being an abstract concept of who's in charge. Right, and, and which I also kind of get too, because let me tell you something. You try to fucking contact Instagram. There's no person. You just write a fucking. You put a ticket out into the ether and you're like all right well that's it no one no one's dealing with it that that type of thing i understand that you need to personify it there needs to be a person it was like remember um that pharmaceutical guy martin screlly yeah it's like dude that is every pharmaceutical company they jack up the price oh, of yeah. medications oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. because Riddles it was a person yeah. there was an actual person a name a guy the douchey guy who bought the fucking yeah. the the dmx yeah. tapes over the fucking wall. people wanted to hate that guy so badly but it's like he wasn't actually doing anything that all these other companies other were doing do, right right, yeah. right. Well, we got this. Only the, the human species is the only species where you have such a wide variety, a vast gap in intelligence. You know, if like if you're a cheetah, you're pretty much a cheetah. Yeah. You know, yeah. every <laughs> other animal is like pretty much that. Yeah. It's like there's no range where it goes from like Elon Musk level intelligence. <laughs> that fucking cheetahs just to fucking... like Skankfest fan. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like. <laughs> so how do you manage that? Like, how do you manage? You need so you need like plotting evil people just just kind of to deal with all the stupidity i mean like well you need that you need sort of like to 
to have creativity or ingenuity or any of that, you need sort of that evil need for greatness. You need that evil need to try to get laid. That's where, that's where, that's how people figured out how to get to the fucking moon. Some dude was trying to get his dick sucked. Yeah. Okay. Simple as that. That was the whole motivation for getting to the fucking moon, building skyscrapers, building fucking Apple. These guys wanted to feel like the shit and they wanted to get their dick sucked. Yeah. And that's where they created, you know, great fucking things. And when you sort of kill that, I feel like we are kind of dulling down who we are as a society in terms of pro productivity. Um, I think we should be figuring out ways to encourage that while respecting other people's boundaries. Yeah. Why? I think we just have to, we have to continue to keep figuring out ways to keep Get poor people up. outside of Nantucket and places like that. <laughs> like they just, right. you gotta keep, you can't have the floodgates open for people being like, I have a voice too. And you're like, what do you got to say? And you're like, it's kind of hands, you know, you gotta keep those people. Well, yeah. that's the other thing is like not to back in the use day, a pejorative against them. Back in the day, <laughs> in order to share an idea with a thousand people, I mean, you had to be fucking motivated. You had to go and do some shit. A thousand people, you had to gather them. You had to print flyers and hand them out. And like, it was so much work. It would take hours, if not days, to, to contact a thousand people and share an idea with them. And now any idiot can just share any idea without any it thought. Falls out of their dumb nothing, head. dude. And, and then we give validity to it, the more people see it. Oh, no, it. dude, there's people who are well, like... Well, that speed of information also doesn't allow us to sit, reflect, and think reflect. about how it affects yeah. us. Yes. You know, We just respond immediately. Yeah. That's and, it. No, yell at, and just yell at Corinne. We used That's to, just what we did. You used to sit on the toilet, <laughs> though, and you used to take a shit and think about how your day could be better. Yeah. You spent 15 minutes going, dude, how can I be like a better person Like looking out a today? window. Yeah, dude. And yeah. now you're just on your phone. Yep. You're always, you're, you got a game going on. You're just, you're so distracted from making yourself a better person. And I think that is the major downside of technology. And that's something that we we don't know how to handle as a society just yet. And I think they're going to limit the amount of screen time in the future. I think that's all going to be like some FCC shit. In the future, it's going to be like, you only get a certain amount of hours a day. Your, your yeah, phone. It's a 1984 hour of hate. You yeah. just look at Twitter for one hour and feel your outrage and then get it out. True. It's crazy. What I, what I, it's like all the things we used to complain about and be negative about I kind of miss and think like oh and now yeah. I'm like oh I see why it was good like like what like remember how you say like oh there's real no difference between the parties Democrats and Republicans are kind of the same and now it's like there's a far right and a far left and like Trump's the president you're going like you know yeah it was better back when the parties were the same and like but they are still the same. They're both still saying the same shit. They're both no, like, no, everyone that disagrees yeah, also, with me should fucking die. Also, everyone that disagrees with me is a fucking we're idiot. we're so knowledgeable about everyone's opinions, emotions, and every bit of news that comes out. Before, it was like, there were only five news stories a day, and you spent the rest of the day interacting with people and thinking. Well, and then now you're getting a barrage of all this bad news. And as humans, we're born, and we have empathy, so you feel for these things, and then it just dictates your emotion and how you attack other things. But like, it used to to be like the guys who all became presidents on the right or left side of the aisle, they all went to Yale together. They kind of knew. They all knew each other. Right, it's like uh, backdoor. Yeah, they leaned a little and left and right, right, and they, they knew how to like act and con they went. They went to oh, Yale. They're still forum, doing that, but it's like no. Well, I mean, they are, but like Trump is. President. Well, Trump was a New York. Yeah, but look Democrat, at Mitch McConnell. Though. He was. Dude. He was a New York Democrat. But he's a who game. Just, but he's like a. He's a celebrity. Like he, he's, he's actually a celebrity game show host. He's a he's celebrity. A celebrity. He's so a fucking was slumlord from Queens. Yeah, he's like a celebrity, and he kind of broke it. And you're going like, ooh, this is. We should probably go back to like a conspiracy controlling the, the country. That's a good thing. That's a good thing when guys meet and go like, how do we keep this in order? But that's you know? what Mitch McConnell's trying to do, and it's totally fucking the country. I support it. Fuck <laughs> you. Whatever it is, whatever <laughs> keeps people you. in fucking line, I'm, I support it. <laughs> well, the difference was it used to be <laughs> both sides conspiring. Now it's just one side winning cold to control, I would say. Yeah. 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 Like there, there I, was some form of reaching across the aisle, and then now it is just completely not backing down well, and, they, and making the other person apologize to you on camera. No, I think that DC... <laughs> that's what it is. DC is doing the same shit that they... It truly is. That DC is still doing the same shit they've always done. It's just that the rhetoric is so much more fiery. Rhetoric? rhetoric. You mean rhetoric? rhetoric? Oh, sorry. The rhetoric. Wow, that's a real Taliban. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Like... Rhetoric. The rhetoric is like is still is still is just more extreme than it always was. For sure. So like because of Twitter, each and side Instagram. is ISIS. Oh so, no, it's but different. But I think they're I mean, still doing the same shit. They're still having dinners together and like shaking hands at the yeah, end I think of it. It's while marketing. we Hold while on. we tear ourselves but I, apart. But I think right. I think I agree with Rosebud. I think it's marketing, and I think it's part of yeah. like you know 
Fox News has this narrative, and then MSNBC has a different narrative, and they sort of set up this thing, and you go like, oh, those guys are evil, those guys are evil. And the reality is, behind closed doors, they're all just fucking counting money, they're all helping each yeah. other out, they're and they're all distracting us true. with yeah. outrage. Yes. So that's why whenever so that somebody goes extreme on one side or the other, I'm like, you're just a fucking idiot. Yeah, I well, agree. I think you're you're a fucking dolt. Even if, if you even consider yourself on one side or the other, if you just if you call yourself, I'm a Democrat or Republican, I think you're a fucking dolt. I really do. I'll give you this example, well, though. I it didn't that used far, to, like, fucking extreme. Extremist. When the Go Amazon ahead. when the Amazon deal got rejected uh, in New York, what? When the when Amazon was going to come here, <laughs> they were going to move the rainforest. All yeah. the Democrats, no. you know, all the local Democrats for the most part were in favor of it. Obviously, Republicans were in favor of it. It was the progressive wing that kind of rejected it. That's a new thing, mm. and, and they so it, they used to be similar in that they they would both they would both accept Amazon, want Amazon to come. And now there's a progressive wing going, whoa, 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 no, that's not for the people. And they but actually, is it about but, oh, but is not, it about the people or is it about some other issue? But do, but do you not that they're trying to block? Because I'm it, just saying it's evidence of that things are different now. That, that but I think that's that, been the case for a long time. They've always been they've always been lobbying yeah. against each other. With they would always have like I watched I, I have very limited knowledge about politics and social issues, but I can think of an example of how the UFC wasn't legal in New York. <laughs> yeah, it's all UFC. Yeah. It wasn't legal in New York, but it had nothing to do with the the UFC. See, it had nothing to do with so martial like arts. Trump is like Bellator. <laughs> I'm just saying they're split now. The left is split. The right is, is split. Is yeah. that not, they're split. A, is yeah. that not yeah. a response to what happened with the Tea Party and it's popular? Just right, right. Everyone shut funny. the fuck up. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. This We've been sucks funny in it yeah. up. all the We've dick been funny in the world. It up. This is terrible. This yeah. is awful. Talk about the fucking Tea Party. Talk about the tell the fucking politics pompous over here. Listen, nobody's the one bringing it up. Yeah, I don't even know You brought it up. I didn't start it. Yeah, you did. But and I'm after, fucking the, after the ad read, you <laughs> started talking all Ian, your Trump talk. The line that pushed us all over the edge, though, is when you said, what about the Tea Party? Come yeah. on, doggy. It, it, no, it you know what it was? Response. It was because we were saying Trump 2020, and then I, oh, I did start it because I said yep. that we're framing Trump. Pr- yep. Trump president. There it is. <laughs> Let's just pull I'll it back. I'll take the blame. Let's pull it back right, and Rose check Bud. in with our friend Corinne. Did, did Corinne Bud. text you? Let's see. Where are we Let's check in with our pal Corinne. Well, she texted me, enjoy living your entire life like a WWE match, which I feel like it's... Yeah. Now she can be mad because I read that text. She's cutting a promo. As well. I don't even <laughs> yeah. know. Wow. She tweeted that we're not friends anymore. Yeah. 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 Speaking of wrestling, we went and saw Raw last night, and how fucking fun was it? It was my first time seeing a wrestling, like any wrestling thing really? live. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've been changed. Yeah. Really? It was yep. fucking great. It's, it's electric, fun. yeah. It's so funny. I, I was like, and by the way, I, you think America's divided, and then you walk into a fucking rest, WWE event, and you're like, "Holy shit! Beautiful. Look at all these people like no coming religion, together. No, no politics, religion, no, no politics. Race. I mean, no money for sure, but like, not teeth. <laughs> no, not teeth. <laughs> but like, I was like, sports in general. This I think. is sports, great. It's sports, entertainment, movies. Like you sit in a movie theater. There's 300 people watching the same movie. The same Dude, time, laughing at the same Cold, time. Stone Cold at the end of it was like, "Where's Sal Volcano?" And fucking went up to Sal Volcano and, and told the shout entire out Madison Square Madison Garden. Square Garden was like, uh, "Give it up for my buddy." Were you guys also from Impractical Jokers? Were you guys sitting with Sal? We were in the nosebleeds, but oh. we saw it on the jumbo. We did. Yeah. I <laughs> we saw it on the jumbotron. Yeah, Sal's such it's, a great guy. You, you forget that he. Oh yeah, this guy's like really famous. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like yeah. next level famous. Yeah. I was like, does what he the do fuck? cameo? Check him out. Does no. he do cameo? There's no interesting. He would get way too many requests. Yeah. Yeah. Chris D'Elia has the best cameo. It's fifty thousand dollars. If I had his money, I would do that. Fifty thousand dollars for a message. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. It's funny. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's great, dude. Yeah, re- rest. It was so wild to see like every fucking part of society together. Like, oh, I love your shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, tap the belt. And it was like, wow. We just need to have everyone live in Madison Square Garden. We'll be yeah. totally fine. Comedy used to be like that too, where like you brought people together. You know, it, it does still. It, it does. does kind of. But they're trying to change the infrastructure of yeah. entertainment in general. So they're trying to inject politics and and social issues into all entertainment now, right. which is psychotic. Yeah. But it's like, no, no, no. We can just laugh at dumb jokes. You yeah. know, like there. That's why wrestling's great. It's not like I'm winning for as a woman. It's yeah. like, no. Yeah. yeah, but now you can be funny for a certain audience and then just stop. You don't have yeah. to be like, oh, let me, how do I get make these people laugh? You just go like, these right. are my people and that's it. And it's oh, done. And everyone has their own thing and they build the walls and they go like, this is my crowd and that's it. I you think know? It, I hate that. It, yeah. You should be able to play anywhere and make it work. Yeah, I think that the, there's, I don't think there's that many people that can just play to 
and a specific audience and just make them laugh. I think it's kind of hard. I think it's real. Like the Clapter audience, like they're not really laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like those audiences won't laugh at real comics. So it's almost like it's not even the same thing. It's almost like they're they're doing these speeches that are sort of like humorous or whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's like you're a fucking Giannis is a killer. By the way, great special, dude. Fucking awesome. Thank you. Go watch it on YouTube. Uh, Giannis Papas blowing the light. You guys can literally watch it for fucking free. Yeah. Um, which is incredible. You did it with Andrew Schultz. Production's incredible. Thanks, Sounds man. great. Looks great. Every fucking clip is killer. Giannis is a, a murderer. But Giannis, you are also a political comic to a certain degree. You talk about issues, social issues. There, you get into that. You would have a hard time going and killing in some of these rooms. But I try to talk about it in a way where I put the comedy first. Of course. I, I, yeah. I, I want the people who wouldn't agree with me to, to laugh. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't call I you try. a political comic. Yeah, I I'm think not... that you toe the line sometimes with certain yeah. stuff. And uh, online, you'd like to talk about it more. Um, but I point- try to tone down on that because that's that's a problem. That's a mental. That's when my mental illness shows. Well, yeah. that's when I'm yeah. like fucking going on a rant. I'm going like, what? Who am I talking to? <laughs> you read it back. The yeah. Next yeah, day, yeah, yeah. I read it back. Yeah. It's almost like when you're high and you write a poem, yeah. and you like the next day when I calm yeah. down, I'm going like, or you get high and you raid your I fridge. Doing? Yeah, I'm like, what am I doing? Who am I talking to? Yeah. What, you what get am high, I hoping you to get out of fridge, this? You just see all the rappers. You're like, look at this damage yeah. I've done. I always feel like an like an old man telling a story whenever I talk about politics on. Online. I'm like yeah. nobody's listening to me. Nobody. I'm, I'll I, talk I, about this it isn't going to gonna face, lead anywhere. Do any you know the best thing is when online. people tweet directly at Trump, yeah. like comics. You're like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> you know, uh, what are you doing? Like, do you think he's going to answer you? Yeah. Who is right. this for? Yeah. Right. What well, are you doing? You're yeah. tweeting at Trump like, yeah, you're fucking it. Real comics do actually, that all actually, the time. He was at first, so I can see why they were doing that. He, yeah, he, he just got to... those thing with Chrissy Teigen. Exactly. So it's like that is a hail mary. Chrissy Teigen isn't doing open mics. Yeah, yeah, it'll be like some fucking open mic comic from Brooklyn. Oh yeah, and you're like, all right, dude. Have nice fun. hair, Trump. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you know, that's what the thing about the internet is. It sort of gave us all like a conduit to express our mental illness. Totally. Yeah. Like we Absolutely. all, like you know, you can see people's like, you know, when when I see like the memes come out, I'm like, this person's going through something, you know, and like there's four with fucking deep quotes in a row. Right. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, when someone's profile picture yeah. is like an ocean with a dog in the sun, it's like <laughs> they just got out of rehab. Yeah. <laughs> we just announced to the world our fucking, our, oh, yeah. how totally. unstable we are. I yeah. mean, when I, when I'm like manic, I make more like Instagram stories, yeah. and then when yeah. I'm not posting, it's like, oh, I'm depressed. I, yeah. Anytime. <laughs> I'm bored. Anytime I'm traveling, if I'm on a flight, oh, hey, yeah. if you see him, I'm just like in a row, like frap, 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 arguing with people for no reason, like responding <laughs> to every little thing. Right. I'm Your sitting, stores look like yeah. Morse code. I'm sitting on a runway. Top. Yeah. Just yeah. with nothing to do. And just, I'm bored and I got yeah. AD. I'm staring like at my alone phone. alone in a hotel room. Refreshing yeah, yeah, the page. Yeah, yeah. Say yeah. something again, Karina. Please. <laughs> I fucking dare you. You're like, please. Whenever I like... write a long thing, it just know like I'm failing at life at that <laughs> yeah. moment. I should be yeah, at the dude. gym. I should be doing something. Or if, that... I, if I post like like four stories of my dog in a row, I'm like so right, right, lonely. Right, right, yeah. Like I'm like, some, I'm waiting for somebody to text me back right. and I know they're not going yeah. to. Yeah. And we're only doing it for likes it's like the only yeah. reason I'm it's a, that dopamine yeah thing. like why am I showing you my dog for the fifth time yeah, yeah. absolutely nobody gives a nobody fuck about my dog nobody can say fuck you know what happens well people this like my cat I notice when I because when I'm in shape I end up posting a lot of gym selfies and then when I'm out of shape I judge people who post gym selfies like <laughs> I'm like, you are the fucking worst. Yeah. But I can't see it. It's fucking crazy. Dude. Everything we hate in other people in shape, is a reflection of In ourselves. my mind, that perspective will just change. I'm like, do you know what? Dude? I look pretty good. They yeah. need to see this. <laughs> it's psychotic. Yeah, it's narcissism. Yeah. yeah. But it's I, not good. Because if that's, when I'm, I need to be told that I'm doing well, and that's what motivates me to lose weight. That's what motivates me to keep going. So once I lose weight and I'm in shape for a while and people stop noticing it, they stop going, oh, dude, you look good. You lost a little bit of weight. Then I get bored, and then I go, well, I'll get fat again. Fuck, and then people will notice me for something else, and then they start calling I'll, me fat. You like know you what do. I do? I, I literally <laughs> will go, I'll, I'll watch somebody who's in shape post like a half-naked selfie, right? And they're a comic, and then I'll... Try to do it, and then I'll be like, people are going to say I'm not funny if I do this, so I won't do it. But I'm, I've been in great shape for, like, f- six years, and I can't fucking post. Like, whenever I post something, I'll take it down because I'll be like, everybody's going to be like, I'm not funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like this, co- it's constant. You got a couple bikini shots out there. We've seen them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I give myself a week. Oh, uh, yeah. On the beach in 2016. <laughs> uh, I remember that beach. I remember yeah, that I remember beach. That yeah. beach. Yeah. Yeah. Guys yeah. are fucking creeps. Yeah. Do you guys remember the fucking year? Yeah. Don't no, yeah, I, I remember the beach shot. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not a slut. So you were doing yeah. like a little dance <laughs> yeah. kind of thing. And you were like, I'm making a silly face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are sick. Now I'm scrunching my face because I'm looking at the sun. This is fucking 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yep. know that, like, when a guy looks at your profile, he's looking for vacation yeah. shots. Yeah. Yep. Just, yep. See, that's why. Yeah. Titty. I put it on the three in a row. <laughs> Titty. <laughs> Boom. Yep. This is why go. I can't. Screenshot. Use yep. that one later. Boom. Yep. I'm telling you, dude. That's why I yeah. can't post hey, that shit. Hey, don't fly to yourself. I do it with Mateo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just got rejected from a glory hole. All <laughs> right. Thank you. Sorry, you so it's way much. down. Just, way down. Yeah, it's way back. I think you were still together with SS. What were you saying? I was. I was. I was still. Yeah. I was still with him. <laughs> the beach had a lot of sun. You yeah, the bright sun. Yeah, she remember. did like a little dance thing. I remember it was like a one piece, uh, a one piece bathing suit. Yeah, it's st- guys. Just we want to see it. We uh, want to. Yeah, so bad. Yeah, yeah. It's also, you're so fucking like you're you're a beautiful girl. So it stands out because you don't do it. You so don't do like, it. Yeah. You you are like literally like a fucking. Like, like I try to avoid it because yeah. I because I don't want people to look at me like that. I want people to look at me as but a But then comic. you posted that fucking bikini shot and we were all like, God damn. Yeah, she got a rosebud. <laughs> if you were still a little more thirst trappy, we would have never remembered that exact shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you think exactly. we're naming Karen Feehan shots right uh, now? No. <laughs> Get out of here. The one where her ass was out and she was spreading her butthole. Which one? Uh, you don't yeah. say. That's why, well, I feel like if you do it once a year, then people go, oh, shit. Yeah, we we remember it's specifics. It's memorable, yeah. <laughs> We're such good. Whoa, 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 I saw a beach. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I saw a beach. Did we see yeah. a beach? Oh, yeah, that, this old Roastmasters posters. Wait, go oh. down. There it is with her seat. Go back. There we go. There we go. And there's one right there. Yeah, there's one right there. Yeah. yeah. One right there. yeah. There's, that's not the one that was her by herself. Yeah. Yes. Wait, wait, go back, go down. Go. This is scary. No, there's, that's not it either. I no, probably, this is not it. I probably it. deleted it. I think it might have been a stories. No, you no, know what? It was on no, Seton's. No, no. Nope. It, it was, was might have been on Seton's, yeah. It was not. Or maybe she went back and deleted it. I probably deleted it. She might have got a call from mm. father. I probably. <laughs> <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Her Rose, Her Rose, we need Rose. to have a discussion. It's father. Uh, <laughs> I was on your Instagram. And uh, <laughs> you, we saw your buttocks. We saw nah, some now, yeah, hey, I deleted now it. We're, now we're in winter. You're I think go I back. deleted it. <laughs> I must have deleted it. We saw it. some untasteful photos. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there the is. The bigger name. You're, you're old shaming the family. <laughs> dragging it <laughs> in the mud. <laughs> It's <laughs> hilarious that you guys think we're British. <laughs> He's got a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> He's just, my dad is like the Monopoly guy. Enter my He's got a pipe right there. <laughs> the owl on my shoulder is upset. <laughs> <laughs> The photo showed to him by a butler. (laughs) Sir. On a silver platter. (laughs) Mr. Baker, you're going to want to see this. (laughs) We may have an issue here. (laughs) Your daughter is... uh, Bartholomew has brought to my attention. (laughs) She seems to be hanging out with a chocolate fellow. (laughs) (laughs) We hope you retire this photo. (laughs) (laughs) We just cannot have you being seen with a black man in public. (laughs) God damn. Yeah. <laughs> was that a problem with your family as you were dating a black guy? Yes. No. No, it wasn't. Okay. Not at all? No. I mean, we're so white that we would, you know, it's like when you- uh, Were they like excited about it? Like, yeah, we, we'll make chicken for dinner. Like they were just so out of touch. They were excited. No, my family wasn't. What it, they weren't weird about they it. <laughs> they weren't, <laughs> do they eat? Do they eat the same type of food that we eat? Uh, they weren't weird about it Just had quarter waters at the dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> We got you a pack of gushes, sir. Uh, but how, how do we put menthol in chicken? <laughs> Tonight we have Popeyes. <laughs> That's more. You guys are responding like low class white people, like like really well, upper hello, class white people. Hello, take a look at us. Yeah, who the upper, fuck are you talking to, Rosebud? Listen, upper class white people just pretend like they can't see color, and everyone's white to them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. They pretend huh? like they'll they'll just pretend like nothing's happening. How do you not see color? Uh, They're no, so they just, loud. They just <laughs> no, they can hear color. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What they do is they pretend and then they whisper about it behind. Right. right. Yeah. They whisper right. about it behind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Because they're almost. Yeah. It's like a. It's almost like a. They see it as like a infliction, and they're trying to figure out how to solve. How to it. work my around favorite, it. My favorite t-shirt to, company. What? Infliction. Infliction. Mm. We'll be right back after these messages. I'll <laughs> take that bandana back. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bomaruski, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Uh, what was that movie? Uh, Get Out. That's how I imagine your family. Mm. It is like that. That's yeah. literally what I imagine. Yeah, it is like that. Okay. It, on my dad's side, my mom's side is totally different. My mom's like an artist. Yeah. She's like, my painter. mom does not. Sp- Post uh, voodoo hexes on black people. <laughs> not, she's not like that. But, but my dad's side is uh, it's very it, it's weird like that. You know, yeah. like 
I, I remember we went to like a family reunion once and there was, it was in South Carolina and it's like everyone who was a guest at this resort was white and everyone that worked there was black. And I was like, this just feels like oh my. heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is, is this like- a perfect society. <laughs> what is going on here? Like home. I heard that one hit the catcher's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was heat. It just came in '97. <laughs> it was nuts, though. I was like, this is crazy. That was the first time where I saw my family, and I went, oh, we're f- bad people. Yeah. No, well, I mean, it's South Carolina, though, right? It's like that. That's yeah. I mean, it was it was part of like what goes on in South Carolina, but yeah. at the same time, I was just like, this is this feels wrong to be here. Right, yeah. right, right, right. I don't know, man. I just well, there's power. Some people in your, your the two generations ago, they had some serious well, power. Yeah, but it's weird because you know, even in in like really powerful families, you have like the black sheep, you know. Yeah, and like I that have an your, uncle who's that was got. Seaton. I've yeah. got no, not even. I got an uncle. First of all, uh, like my uncle was, uh, he's got Hep C. Met his wife in rehab. He has two kids. One of them oh, has hell yeah. two kids with like guys in prison. What are you? Are you like excited right now? No, you're like touching. Just, your he rarely dick. hears about cool. other people with Hep C. Yeah, yeah. 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 He feels nice, like, nice to meet a brother. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, there's like, and then people, and then my grandfather's like paying to put them through rehab several times. And it's just like, Aww. it's just nuts. Like, it's like these crazy, you know, there, there's money behind it, but we got to yeah. keep other people and our family a secret. And I, I, I don't know. The whole thing weirds me out. Like that whole side of the family just weirds me the fuck out. Yeah. So I just haven't, I haven't been uh, to a Why? What weirds you out about? Them. I'm curious. I'm very curious. I, I think it's not even, it's just that I've never felt like I was in it. You know what I mean? Like even when I was a kid, I felt like I didn't belong there Mm -hmm. because people were i don't like licking the asshole of somebody that i and i never even understood why my grandfather was powerful Mm -hmm. i was just like oh we got to go to another one of his work events and it was like at the white house but like i just i don't know i just never felt like uh i was it never felt like that was a world that that you wanted to be a part of you were like you felt like an outsider as a kid kind of looking at that's i i I felt the same thing about my family because they were all white so I would. I just felt like I was literally the only little brown kid, like in yeah. this like family, and it just never felt fucking. It just felt weird. Yeah, you don't. Mm. You you just always feel like, and the, and people were always making a big deal out of my behavior. Like my behavior was always a problem. I was too loud, or I was too oh, like. Yeah. So I was don't just say like, that. fuck you this whole. You should never say that. Exactly. You should never tell people. Don't this secret. eat like that. Don't sit like that. Don't. And I was like, well, what yeah, the fuck yeah, can yeah, I do? Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I just I I think totally. Deep Rosebud, down, you're eating like, like a savage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting because a lot of times you feel that, like, see, people want the thing they're not. Like, you I, I, you know, rich people always pretend like they're, they're ashamed of it. Like, when mm. you're young, you remember when you're kids? Like, yeah. Those, my, those, my rich friends would be like, I'm not rich. Yeah, I'm not rich. Shut Stop. up, bitch. You're fucking rich. Yeah. You own a house. Yeah. And, and for some <laughs> reason, we'd be angry. <laughs> you got two pairs of jeans. Yeah. Sleep in a bed, not a pair If of you day. own a house, in my mind, I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> it's to this day, I'm like, what is even the first step? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How would I go buy not, a not house? Not being Puerto Rican? Dougie, I don't even know. I make enough money to own a house. I know for a fact. I make more money than people that own houses. Yeah, you do. But what do I do? How do I even fucking, I contact a bank? It's very easy. <laughs> do I wait you on the line at Chase and I get one of those slips? Like, is there a house one instead of a deposit no, slip? No, my best friend yes. bought a house last year. I feel the same way. When she was going what through it, do? I was just like, what are you, what, what are you, 80 years old? It's You're crazy. buying a house? It's You're like, a deed? <laughs> Can I see your deed? Fucking yeah. 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 Grandpa, it's very easy actually. If you you know you just go yeah you go to a bank and yeah get a loan and. Get but what a- is the first step? Do I literally show up at Chase and go? I want to buy a house. Me, I'd get like yourself- to buy a house. That's crazy. Start yeah. looking online at houses, then get yourself a real estate agent to show you the houses and the, to represent you. And then yeah. that's it. don't get the a same real way you rent agent, an apartment. You. Yeah. Like you just go through the steps. You know how you figured out yeah. how f- to rent your own I apartment? I falsify documents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> that's how you get a house. But you yeah. get the bank to help you. You don't have to, by the way, you don't have to have good credit or let me give people a little bit of scam advice here, okay? You can falsify all of those documents. The only thing you can't fuck don't with is do credit. Don't do that, though. The only thing you can't yeah. fuck, well, not in a rental, you're not, nobody's. Fuck, my oh, credit. you're renting. Renting. Still, I wouldn't recommend it. If you can't get an apartment, I would easily recommend it. Oh, if you can't get an apartment. If you can't get an apartment, yeah. y- the only thing you can't fake is credit. Your credit, but the reality is, dude, a lot of the times, they don't even run the fucking credit. What they do is those, the, all they those. They run the credit every fucking time on me. 
Every time I've rented an apartment. I say a handful of times they haven't because I lie every time and say I have good credit. And I my credit's better now. But back in the day, I, was, I had abysmal credit. And I would go, oh, yeah, my credit's great. And I would just pretend because I worked for a real estate office. And it's depending on what they decide to charge. They could charge $100, $200. That application fee is a bullshit arbitrary fee. You could run somebody's credit for six bucks online. Okay, that it's all the whole thing. So what they do is they make thousands of dollars in applications. Thousands and thousands and thousands. And then they pick two or three candidates that they like. And they only run the credit on those people. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of slip through on the credit side. But you can get templates for tax documents. You can get templates for um, letters of employment, banking statements. Statements. You can literally get everything and just fill it all in. There's websites that you could falsify everything. There you go. <laughs> I would love to see a sketch where some where Lewis is telling people how to buy a house. <laughs> That's his TED talk. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's Ted just walking them through how to fucking scam the banks. We're going to talk about loopholes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and they're like, how did you buy your house? He's like, I've never bought a house. I have no idea. <laughs> we all got a little criminal part of our brain. Well, I do, uh, tap into I, I'll do a little segment here. We do it on the Real Ass Podcast. Uh, shout out Real Ass Podcast. Gas Digital. In fact, let's do some plugs really quick because we got a little bit of time left here on the show uh really quick let's go around the room and get plugs out of the way and then we'll uh we'll talk about some of these delightful scams that my fans have sent in because you guys you don't have to pay for starbucks you can get uh you can get fucking discount sheets free meals there's a lot of things you can get in the world and i'm going to teach a lot of people how to do this in just a minute um but let's go around the room uh rosebud what would you like to plug um, I will be at JFL 42 at the end of the month, co-headlining with my co-host, Corinne Fisher. Yay! At, <laughs> um, yeah, at JFL 42 Toronto. Uh, tickets are on my website, www.rosebudbaker.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rosebud Baker. That's about it. <coughs> my podcast has been plugged. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> go watch my special, burn, uh, Blow in the Light. Uh, you can just go put, on YouTube, Blow in the Light. Just put it in. Giannis Pappas or Blow in the Light, it comes up. Hell yeah. Uh, this Saturday, I'm going to be in Lancaster Dutch Apple Theater with David Tell. Uh, next weekend, Friday, I'm in Rochester, New York, Saturday, Buffalo. Tickets available on my website, ianfidance.com, and I'm going to be in Europe October 7th to the 20th. And you can find all that info Ooh, on my website. Thank you. Europe. Fun. Yeah. Fuck I'm yeah. I'm excited, man. Thanks for hooking me up with that chick. I think I'm going to work with her on some they dates. Yes, bro. Yeah, I'm doing uh, a bunch of stuff next year, next uh Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fucking uh, London, Berlin, Prague, Warsaw, Fuck. Switzerland, and Norway. Nice. That's I'm awesome. Dope. Yeah, Dude, guys, grab my fun. special. Luis J. Gomez presents Luis J. Gomez. Luis J. Gomez presents Luis J. Gomez .com. Um, Yeah, you guys can uh, purchase it. Uh, or you can listen to it for free if you guys are on um, Spotify or Pandora, any of those um, apps as well. You guys can listen to the album for free. Um, a lot of the clips are available on YouTube as well. Yeah, dude, I've been checking it out, man. I, I really don't like it. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> <laughs> got some live dates coming up. The Luis J. Gomez and Kurt Metzger uh, <laughs> This Should End Well Tour. Uh, coming to a city near you, uh, September 20th and 21st, Nashville. Uh, we're going to be in Kalamazoo and Detroit in December. We got Boston coming up in January, Funny Bones all over Syracuse, Albany, Connecticut, Winnipeg, San Francisco. Lots of dates coming up throughout the end of the year and the beginning of the year. So make sure you guys go to Louis J. Gomez Presents, Louis That's going to be awesome. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Metzger's a fucking monster. He's a yeah, killer. Dude. Um, I got a bunch of new material that I've worked on since the special as well. Um, I think you guys are going to really – I, I have a joke – that is about, you know, the video of me sucking Bobby Kelly's dick? Yes. Yeah. That's been clipped out. This is just a 10 second clip of me sucking a dick. Dude, on the internet. people have brought that up to me that don't, aren't even. They have no comedy. idea. They're like, they're like, what the fuck no, was that? I think it's a real dick. <laughs> I think it's a real dick. People approached me at a wedding. It was very funny. I, uh, I, wrote, a, I, wrote, a, I wrote a whole six minute bit about the whole experience, everything. And I think fans of this show will really like it. So come out to those live dates. Uh, some dates by myself as well. Los Angeles, October 6th through 9th. I'll be at Uncle Vinny's down the shore, November 6th through 9th. And uh, a lot of other stuff coming up. So check out the other podcasts, Real Ass Podcasts, Believe You Me, and Legion of Skanks, all available on the Gas Digital Network. How long does it take you guys to come up with new material after you burn it for a special? Because that I have such a fear of putting out an album and just having... Mine nothing. came out April 1st, and I have 12 new minutes. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while. Yeah, yeah I, I'm like, not, what I'm do not, you do? Do you just I'm repeat? I'm not Mark like, Norman, fuck. Joe List. I, these guys I know, turn over dude, material Samarell, so fast. Such a fucking joke I, What I do now is I open with brand new stuff, 
and then I go into, I got, I got the advice from Nate actually, Nate, cause he, he puts out new shit all the time mm-hmm. and he takes a pause and goes, well, have you guys seen the special? And then he goes into the stuff from the special. So I sort of do that. Um, and you sort of let the audience know. So the people that are in on it and know. Well, wouldn't it be better to start out strong with shit that works and then go into new? I think when you have an, the audience that knows you, that are fans to see, you want to get everyone really excited. Oh, right. so they they don't want to be like, ah, oh, I've heard that. Oh, I got you. And I, I got think you, they, I got you. they only remember, they don't remember what's going to happen in the middle. They're going to remember your opening. They're going to remember your closing, yeah. right? And if you do new shit at your opening and closing, I think they you almost trick them into believing so they saw a completely different show. Right. We I also have to get Bobby's dates in here. Uh, go to robertkellylive.com for Bobby's dates. If you're watching this, thank you everyone who came out to see him at Side Splitters and everyone who saw his taping of The Degenerates for Netflix in Las Vegas. Yeah. Um, he'll, you can see him at the Stress Factory, me, sick. him, and Gabby yeah. um, on the first weekend of October. Ooh. What are you guys doing there? I'm, I'm hosting doing comedy. and I'm the waitress. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's a really good comic. Mike's a killer. Mike's a killer. Gabby, really Gabby's got some work to do. Okay. I've never seen Gabby. I've never okay. seen her. Not many people have. She's too hot. So, There's no way um, she's funny. Go fuck Before, yourself. <laughs> yeah, Mike, Mike is very funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also check out the Creeps with Kids tour. It's going to start in Reading, Pennsylvania, October. What 18th. a fucking killer tour! Bobby Kelly, awesome. Ron Same. Bennington, Dude. Rich Voss, what a fucking Jim Florentine. year for comedy coming up, man. Yeah. Yeah, That's that a generous thing on Netflix. It's great. Yeah, yeah. I think. Creeps with Kids be... is killer. Yeah. yeah. So check yep. out the podcast at YKWD Podcast. Check out Bobby at Robert Kelly Live on Instagram. Check me out at Mike P. Suarez and Gabby. At Gabby is Brian. I have a podcast called Unabashed Podcast, and I have a show every first Wednesday of the month at the Way Station in Brooklyn. Ian's done it. Mm-hmm. And listen to History Hyenas. Oh, History Hyenas. Oh, Wait, go yes. back to that picture because it looks like Ron Bennington lost his leg to diabetes in that. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. For a second, I was like, did Ron lose his Dude, leg? Man? where's his leg? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can check me, Giannis, Christy, and Zach on History Hyenas. Uh, it's a great Ooh. podcast. Go to historyhyenas.com. Um, for our merch, and uh, we had Summer Ray on this week. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's coming up. That episode's coming up. I'm so excited to get merch. Yeah, Mm. awesome. Becky, do you have anything? Hey, you can check me out on Instagram at Human Places the Ease of Three, and I make merch as well for this podcast. Remember to be happy. dot com slash shop. The two's a number. Chris. Cool. Yeah. We just give everyone plugs, huh? Oh, we, yeah, we all get the plug. Uh, the fuck does Chris do? <laughs> Dude, I'll be sitting here next week. Tackling <laughs> <laughs> in the back, yeah. I'll be wearing uh, a large sweatshirt. <laughs> I, got a, I got a men's fashion podcast, and I designed the merch for the um, show here. So, yeah, you can follow me at not that genie, C-H-E-N-E-Y. At yeah. iAnimal on Instagram. There's a me. lot of podcasts in the world at this moment. God True. damn, yeah. yeah. My podcast, Sex Ian, the city is available on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. Thank okay. you. Uh, yesterday, I did Ted Alexandro's podcast where he calls you randomly and like... Oh, that's great. And I was on my way to do my podcast. I was going like, this is just getting weird. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm doing a right. podcast on a way to, to do, do another podcast. podcast. Yeah. 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 This yeah. is my first podcast of the day. Yeah. Today. Um, yeah. Another one Congrats. later. Uh, last thing to say, Robert Kelly's Patreon. Uh, Robert Kelly. Yeah. Patreon. Suck his dick Robert already, Kelly. dude. Jesus Christ. Christ. He has. He has. Yeah. He has. <laughs> Live from the shed. Lucky. Uh, with Bill Burr's um, on there now, and then Mike Calter comes out. All week. right. Oh, oh, wow. Hell yeah. Bill Burr's new special out. Yeah. I watched the first ten minutes of it. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Oh, so there's gonna be a Ron Bennington on Mass with Colin Quinn this Thursday at the Underground. That's gonna be amazing. What are you plugging? Just other sick. things. <laughs> it's not even, nothing to do with anyone here. I'm well, getting lunch Philly, after the this. Phillies probably are probably playing, at the, the salad Phillies place. Are the <laughs> I might be joining Giannis. Uh, 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 guys, the UFC is doing their first Mexico card next month. <laughs> <laughs> you guys should check that out. We guys. might be getting falafel and balloons after this. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Guys, uh, my, girl, my girlfriend's my at work home. right now. She's <laughs> 90 again, just got a promotion. Just my shot. girlfriend just started teaching preschool in Harlem. Oh, shit, she's uh, my wife. I called her my girlfriend. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> Giannis will be getting divorced yeah. uh, coming up in fall. <laughs> at Uncle Vinny's. I want to thank everybody who came out to my wedding. Shout out. Really appreciate it. A lot of guys came out. It was a great turnout. Great show. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm uh, leaving here. I'm planning Zach's bachelor party. We're doing it tonight. Yeah, I'm going. Awesome. Who's right. going? Uh... Handful of comics. Big J and Ari will be there. Oh, good. So we're plugging Shane. who's going to Zach's. <laughs> cool. Sick. Sick. Party. Sick. We finally who's, got Lewis to be part of the bit. <laughs> who's playing Zach, Zach's bachelor party? Uh, I so, texted, uh, who did I text? I texted, uh, somebody's going to cut themselves with a the razor blade at that place. I texted one of the producers. I was like, I was like, you coming to Zach's bachelor party? We have hookers to dance and fuck us. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
Dude, literally, I went to a bachelor party last night. It was fucking wrestling. We all have matching t-shirts. Oh, it was dancing at your man's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did yeah. anything go duels at the bar afterwards. No, dude. We had the most wholesome, fun, Nothing wonderful, grimy. sober time Nothing in the grimy. world. You went? It was yeah. so fucking You were at the fun. bachelor party? Yeah. yeah. That's what it was. It was so fun. <laughs> yes, they didn't was, all fuck you. It was sober. <laughs> it was didn't dance. It was sober. It was silly. There was seltzer and stone cold. What more do you want? <laughs> Can you say another S word? Suck my dick. <laughs> and tonight it's going to be the polar opposite where someone's going to die of a pill overdose. Yeah. No girls allowed at our bachelor party except Unless for the hookers. I, I didn't realize I was the only girl invited. I thought that other girls were going to be there. What other and girl? I, I don't know. I, it really made me question my whole sexuality. Can't I was like, like, you guy the whole time? Yeah. You're, you're an like, angry little boy trapped in a <laughs> hot, delicious girl's body. Like, I just want a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> the delicious hot girl's body. <laughs> Rosebud's got a fucking uh, slingshot in her back pocket yeah, and a yeah, frog. Yeah. yeah, she's wearing overalls with a backwards hat. big fat tits. <laughs> just fucking, yeah. You want to go down to the creek? A slingshot and a frog. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. <laughs> I've been naughty. <laughs> Do you want to go get snakes in the creek? You guys, I always thought that had sex appeal, but I guess it doesn't. Yeah. I guess it's just we uh, all invite the her to the, the fucking... You the wet envelope. Nice. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much. Well, nice. you know what? I said wet. Fuck. Uh, real quick, I'll give you guys a couple great scams to pull off. Maybe you guys can add to this. And uh, the scam stop that, with the scams. Scam that juice segment from the Real Ass Podcast. Actually, available. I love I think scams. we got to lose Last this night, segment. Last night, I helped Rosebud get money off of a vape, and I fucking love I mean, haggling. You, you were the only one who enjoyed that interaction. I love haggling. What happened? We. I walked into a fucking vape store, and... and Ian wa Ian tried to haggle for a fucking vape charger. How much might I get you off? Uh, you got me half off. Yeah, you you're did. welcome. Yep, it uh -huh. was half off. Yeah. Yep. Then he tried to skim off the. T he was like, you know, give me the twenty that I saved you. And well, I was we like, don't no, have to tell that. Not, I'm not uh, doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking around. It was no, a bit. Weren't. He was. No, he but wasn't. if you gave me the money, I would have kept. I saw it. Ian outside of um a bar mm -hmm. recently. Yeah. Um, and he walked up to me. He, he just got a free slice of pizza. From Joe's oh, Pizza, yeah. he's like, "Do you have a napkin?" I just came all over myself. Dude, he was so happy that it's free slice of pizza, and I just come from a different era. I just grew up, you know, watching Bobby Kelly and and Voss and Patrice and all these guys bust each other's balls. So I'm with these two hot chicks outside of this bar. So did I. By Ian, the way, Ian walks up with uh, Irene uh, Morales. <laughs> And I go, he goes, oh, I got this free slice. It's so good. I'm so happy. Dude, and I was slices. saying, if you want a free slice, he you go down so the street. happy. And I just smacked the slice <laughs> out of his hand. I slapped it onto the floor. And karmatic. No, nobody laughed. <laughs> All the, the women were the horrified. The girls that were with them were horrified. They were horrified. They were like, why Disgusted. would you do that? Why would you ever do that to and another human the being? the karma police showed up because he got sauce on his shoe. I got the whole slice pizza slapped onto my shoe. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and then I start over laughing like extra because nobody else is laughing, and uh -huh. I'm sweating now because there's pizza on my shoe, and no yeah. one's. I'm bombing right oh now, like God. a leather Jordan. Dude, I love this. Irene yeah. Morales walked away, won't look at me. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. I think Irene Morales officially hates me now oh, from yeah. this interaction. For, well, she hated you before, oh, but on. also, um, I. <laughs> Dude, a, and then so I threw water on loose. I almost threw it at him. He was and so then, mad, dude. He was literally uh, almost tears in his I eyes. I did mad. that to Michael no. Blaustein. I did that to Michael Blaustein like two years ago. So funny. And, and I and I, sw I swatted a salad out of his hands. He's like, I had to wait so fucking long to get this salad. It tastes like shit. And I was like, so fuck your salad. And I swatted oh, it, and it funny. hit a cab. And, <laughs> and I've never been so. I mean, I literally thought Michael was gonna hit me. I wow. was like, he was so fucking oh, mad. Wow. He was so mad that I went to buy him a sandwich. Uh, I was like, it's well, so I, sorry. I was like mad for a second, <laughs> but then I always find the positive things. I said, you know, it's better that I didn't eat the second slice of pizza because my belly didn't need it. So thank you, Lewis, for it's being true. a friend. Yeah, Lewis just... needs somebody to do that for <laughs> him. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have someone slap the food out of your mouth, you fat piece of shit. <laughs> Lewis <laughs> just... <laughs> 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 all right that's the end of the episode i got the last joke bye uh, yeah, we can't wrap this one actually it is it's about an hour and a half perfect all right look you guys are fucking dope uh thank you robert kelly the great robert kelly yes uh mm -hmm. for letting me dude he's gonna crush. i've seen his 50 he's gonna crush the degenerates yeah. it's gonna be so fucking fun yeah he's a monster it's jim norton as well adrian Nikki, adrian fucking believable comics miss on. pat yeah so oh, really? yeah it's yeah. gonna be uh, gonna be pretty awesome, and um, you know I'm looking for a new agent because they didn't even get me uh, my tape submitted for it. So anyway, if you guys are out there and looking to rep uh, 
comedian with a lot of downside. <laughs> uh, very problematic yeah. as they Not said. much upside. Yeah, that's it. Um, no, I'm kidding. Obviously, I love my agent. Um, that's it. That's it. Goodbye. Hey, thanks. You've been listening to the YKWD podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.